Hey guys, in this video we will learn the differences between secure shell SSH and telnet. So SSH is basically abbreviated for secure shell and telnet is telecommunication and network, right? So let's see the functionality of SSH uh, to access the network devices and servers over internet, right? So basically if we want to access the network devices or servers over the internet, for example remote control of any machine. Suppose we want to access the control of any device, right? So for that we use SSH there. In this, uh, how we will connect to that device which is on the internet but at the different location, right? So to control that device remotely from the other network or from the server uh, at other or may maybe at different location, we use SSH pro protocol, right? And Telnet is networking protocol. It is best suited for the Unix environment and specific specifically for the local area network right specifically for local area network we have used it whereas SSH is for uh, uh, complete internet network where device might be at the different location and for remote control of any machine we use SSH there right basically SSH uses port number 23 by default but we can change that however telnet is used port number 23 right so this is the port that they both protocol use here 20, 22 which is used by SSH and 23 used by Telnet. Now in SSH there are very strong authentication and full secure communication to execute commands in remote machine right. So basically in SSH communication the authentication is very strong and the security is full secure because we, have, we are accessing the remote device of any other user right. So for that the authentication and security must required here that is why it is very strong here whereas in telnet not secure protocol it is not as secure as SSH where because it is not secure right because it uh, does not use any security mechanism that is why it is not secure in SSH there is the encrypted form of data is used in the communication in communication process encryption is used here right whereas in telnet only plain text data can be sent right no encryption is used here that is why it is not as secure and it is very strong and full secure right so this is the basic differences between SSH and Telnet now let's see some more differences between SSH and Telnet in SSH it is basically if you will see here it will be operatable in Unix operating system Solaris and Linux, Red Hat, CentOS and Ubuntu so this environment of operating system will be suitable for SSH whereas Telnet is not for mostly suitable for Unix environments like right? SSH protects networks from IP spoofing, IP resource routing and DNS spoofing so the chances of getting attack from the outside is very less because it is protected from IP spoofing as well as IP resource routing and DNS spoofing but in Telnet there is no such protection in the network environment right so the data privacy may might be lost might be it may get attacked from the outer or external source right that is why that is not such protection is existed in telnet now if you will see here using s login the entire login session including password is encrypted that is why your password is also set in that communication session but in telnet no authentication for policies existed there that is why your password might get lost or there might chance of get hacked there right so using s login instead of r login the entire session of SSH communication would be encrypted that is why your password is safe in that communication process right now SSH we are talking about SSH uses public key for authentication of the user accessing server right so SSH uses public key for authentication of the users accessing the server that is why uh, proper authentication means is here but in telnet no authentication is there right so these are the basic differences between SSH and telnet right so that might get uh, important question like that which is more uh, reliable what is the port number right and what might get encrypted authentication like that right so i hope you have understood the concept of the difference between ssh and telnet further if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can comment us and we will try to solve that right thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai Bhai. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.
so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.